Hello everyone, we are Team Vishwa from Veer Mataji Jabai Technological Institute. We are a team of 35 students from various teams of engineering divided into four major sectors of mechanical, electronics, science and software. We are excited to announce our rover Vajra for International Rover Challenge 2026. The suspension system that ensure maximum stability and smooth mobility and uneven terrain. The suspension arms are manufactured using carbon fiber tubes selected for their excellent strength to weight ratio. This allows the structure remains lightweight while still handling significant loads and impact forces. Each component of the suspension has been tested and analyzed throughout the AC simulation where we are examining stage distribution, deformation, factor of safety and to ensure high reliability during real world operation. The rocker bogey mechanism allows all wheels to maintain a ground contact, improving traction and obstacles climbing performance. For the wheel design, we have used the TPU model with an innovative honeycomb internal structure. This layout provides natural shock absorption and flexibility. The honeycomb geometry enhances traction and improves uh, wheel stability, adopt rough surface wheel keeping lightweight and durable. The main body of the rover is built using aluminum extrusion bars. The box type configuration gives a uh, chassis very high strain to weight ratio, making it capable with stand torsion, bending and impact loads. While keeping the frame is extremely light, extrusion profile allows easy mounting of components and modular adjustment. The robotic arm uses 5 degree of freedom. Its motion system is powered by a cycloidal gear with a 1 to 15 degree reduction ratio, giving high torque as it almost zero backlash. The arm structure is built using carbon fiber rectangular profile links, offering a strong yet lightweight frame with with excellent torsional stiffness. The end effector is made using high infill 3D printed ABS material forming a reinforced two claw gripper capable of handling objects of various sizes while keeping overall mass low. To validate the design, detailed dissimulations were performed on critical components such as the gears and arm links on ANSYS. This year, to acquire the required uncontaminated deep sample, we transition from a scooper to a high precision auger driller. A linear actuator provides controlled descent while a dedicated stepper motor ensures the rotational force needed for deep drilling. The soil is lifted upwards using a drilling motion and casing. Soil is then transferred by inclined pipe extension, dropping directly into the testing chamber. A custom funnel ensures the sample is divided evenly into four test tubes, mounted on a rotating disc. Another stepper motor precisely drives a soil sample under each respective analysis station. We employ three core tests to identify biological activity. The Bradford test for protein detection, the catalyst test for metabolic enzyme presence, and UV light exposure for fluorescence from organic compounds. Crucially, an independent servo motor closes the cache container, sealing the 10 cm deep uncontaminated sample, which can be returned for further comprehensive analysis. The electronic subsystem is the backbone of our rover, handling power, control, and communication. This year, we built two custom PCBs, one for maneuvering and robotic arm, the second one for science operation. The, the both boards integrate custom motor drivers, bug converters and reverse polarity protection for compact and reliable design. The science PCB controls peristatic pumps through relay modules, runs a linear actuator and servo motors and uses stepper motors for precise control, handling and reagent dispensing. The maneuvering system uses 693 gear DC motors, each with OV775 magnetic encoders for precise feedback. The robotic arm uses two stepper motors for the shoulder and elbow, two DC motors for waist motion, a stepper motor for gripper, and an additional planetary gear DC motor for shoulder rotation. All subsystems are controlled by ASP32 microcontroller communicating with Jetson Orion Nano. In the software subsystem, we handle the communication between the actuators, sensors, the microcontrollers, and the onboard computer of our rover. For teleoperation, we have implemented a differential drive system and for controlling the arm, we have implemented inverse kinematic to ensure its smooth and precise motion within the 3D workspace. This allows us to compute the jo required joint angles to accurately place the end effector. We utilize the pseudo-inverse Jacobian to quickly solve for the joint velocity. The implementation of pseudo-inverse kinematics also provides the intuitive and effective manual control. For mapping, we are using r type map fed by custom nodes integrating motor encoders, GPS, IMU, and 3D data from stereo depth camps. This map enables the NAVE to stack its global planner, computes the optimal return trajectory while the local planner and controller execute collision-free navigation back to the start. Our rover's autonomy uses a PPORA region chosen because it gives smooth, discrete steering and stable training. For vision, we use a ResNet 18 model that processes depth cam images to understand the terrain and obstacles. Along with that, we use YOLO V8 on RGB cams for object detection. The PPO agent's active network directly controls the rover's wheel speeds through velocity commands. 